What's up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back to another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the cover of Kotokumi's single, Bon Voyage. And before I begin I just want to make a note that this single cover also subs as the album cover or at least one of the album covers for Kotokumi's album Bon Voyage. <clears throat> So with that being said, let's go. Here we go. All right, so when I first look at this photo, I notice Kotokumi's eye. Not her eyes, but her eye. And I'm like, okay, wow. It seems like, you know, her eye look her eye looks really nice. You know, I like the coloration of her eye and I like the way that her eyelid looks. It's like really, you know, eye-catching so to speak. Let's see. The outfit that she's wearing, eh, I'm not really feeling it. It's okay. But I guess it does sort of go with the theme of Bon Voyage because it looks like she's trying to be kind of like a um, kind of like something to do with like the like nautical theme, you know? Like, hey, I'm going on a um, sea voyage. You know, I'm going on a trip via a vessel, you know, a ship, a boat or something. And it looks like she's probably like the captain or something. So I will give Kotokumi a checkpoint for that. I don't like the outfit, but she is interpreting the theme. So checkpoint for you, Kotokumi. <clears throat> All right, I noticed that her hand, like her hand on the left, like her pinky is sort of out of place with her other fingers. And you do have to remember like the small things when you are posing and modeling because, you know, everything counts. Like one thing can throw off a photo. You have to model from head to toe and make sure you have everything in place in between head and toes <clears throat> so that's a little off and also it kind of shows up in the shadow too look at it look at the shadow it's a little weird too weird shadow um i like the typography in this on this single cover it looks nice <clears throat> um I also notice that the background is really plain. It's all white. Um, so I think when the background is plain, you have, like, it's a bit difficult. I think it makes it a tougher photo to pull off. But at the same time, it, it does give you room for more creativity as far as, like, your facial expressions and body posing are concerned, you know. <clears throat> And Kotokumi's facial expression for me is just in the middle. It's not quite here. It's not quite there. It's just in the middle. I don't really know what she's trying to give us with this facial expression. Maybe she's going for like sensuality or, you know, sexiness, you know, sex appeal or something. I mean, it's Kotokumi, so I think that's a given. But I don't really get that, you know? I don't quite like. I don't know the facial expression. I don't know what she's trying to portray. Like what she's trying to like what message she's trying to she's trying to send us with that facial expression. And also her bottom look her bottom lip looks really big in comparison to her top lip. It looks like it's out of proportion with her top lip. And I'm not sure if that's because that's just how Kotokumi's lips are or it's because of how you know it was how they were photographed but that looks a little odd <clears throat> so I wish she would have had her mouth closed and maybe gave us like some sort of a smile perhaps like a slight smile or either you know she could go the other way and give us like a like a strong intense look but, you know, she's not giving us much of anything with the facial expression. <clears throat> and the body language, 
it looks it almost looks as if she's sort of like cowering into herself a little bit like she's uncomfortable or frightened a little bit with the body language and she's lost her neck too even though that like the collar is blocking a lot of a lot of her neck she still would have lost her neck either way because of the way that her body is positioned she lost her neck <clears throat> Um, and I would have liked to have seen Kotokumi's other eye. I think that may have helped increase the quality of this photo for me. But like the hat is covering up her other eye, which is a shame because her eye does look nice. And I would have liked to see the other one because you would have, you know, assuming both eyes look nice, you would have had two nice looking eyes, you know, a nice set of eyes. <clears throat> And that would have helped sell the photo better. That would have helped increase the quality of the photo. <clears throat> if you look closely on the right, you can notice that Kotokumi's hair is sort of rolled up a little bit. And I could either take that or leave it. I kind of would have rather her hair just be kind of like straight back, slick, like slick straight back like her hair is in a ponytail I think that would have probably looked a little better but I can take this or leave this <clears throat> but I do wonder how her hair looks um, under the hat and the outfit that she's wearing like I said before it's not the best outfit but I guess I can give her a pass because it does you know, match up with the theme, Bon Voyage. Yeah, like this photo is a kind of like an upper body shot of Kotokumi. And it's sort of like a beauty shot too, because it's like about the face too. But, you know, I say more so an upper body shot. Um, but when it comes to Kotokumi, sometimes I do think it, it's a little difficult for Kotokumi to pull off a good facial shot. Um, I think everything has to be in favor for her, like, because every angle doesn't seem to work for Kotokumi, in my opinion. Um, so, like, the makeup has to be on point as well. The lighting has to definitely be on point as well. You have to catch her face at the right angle. This photo is a respectable photo of Kotokumi, um, of her face. <clears throat> But I think ultimately what's letting her down when it comes to her face is just the lack of expression for me. If she had had more expression, this photo would have worked better. Because the theme is Bon Voyage, but like I do get that um, theme with her outfit, and she's kind of tipping her hat a little bit. Okay, but then the hand on her face just seems like, I don't know, doesn't seem to really factor into the theme at all and throws everything off but I guess she wanted to have something to do with her other hand so that's what she did overall this photo is okay for me it's not the worst photo in the world um, but I think ultimately what kills it for me is just the, the facial expression and the thing is, like, her eyes, they really do look like they have a lot of life behind them. So she has, like, you know, at least the eye that I can see. I don't know what the, uh, what the other eye looks like. But the eye that I can see, like, if you have eyes like that, like, you, you're you already halfway there. All you have to do is just give a good facial expression with your mouth. Next. And everything matches up. And you're good to go. And you have a good picture. But unfortunately, Kolo's you know her mouth when it comes to like her smile and her facial expression you know she didn't bring it with that and I think ultimately that's the issue with this photo you know that's the issue I have with this photo 
But feel free to let me know what you guys think. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Into the next photo analysis. Adios and goodbye for now.